Hey guys, it's Doc, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about using the weather patterns to determine your cutting height and actually your Bermuda care. So hold on one second. Hey guys, can you tell it's bright and sunny out? <laughs> It is going to be hot today. We're going to be in the 90s, and this is May 15th. So, we are also at the tail end of a drought, thank God. We have not had a drop of rain for over 20 days, and we have been battling. This is a horrible time for a drought. This is the time of year when you want to push your Bermuda grass as much as you can. And guess what? It's kind of hard to push something without water, so we've been watering and watering and fertilizing and pushing it. And so far, we're looking good. So let me show you. Still dew on the ground here. But you can see, but you can see how nice this Bermuda looks. That is beautiful Bermuda. For May 15th, that is just simply gorgeous. And for being on the tail end of a drought. Again, 20 days without rain. But here's a, here's a really important note. Guess what's coming? We're about to get five days worth of rain. And I cut my grass uh, two days ago, and I did a video, I'll put up a little card here. I put up a video about fine tuning your leveling heights on your mower. And so I cut my Bermuda a little bit longer, maybe about an inch and a half. But here's what I know. I've got a lot of fertilizer out in this lawn. I've got five to six days where it's 80 to 100% chance of thunderstorms every single day. What's gonna happen to my Bermuda? My Bermuda is already at one and a half and it's going to explode. So I live by the 10 day forecast. I want you to remember that. If you have a Bermuda lawn, you should live by the 10 day forecast and you should plan not only fertilization, but you should plan your cuttings looking forward to see what's coming. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm actually going to drop down my mower deck another half an inch or so. I'm going to recut my lawn in preparation because I'm not going to be able to cut my lawn for a good five, six days and it's going to get up too high. Uh, I run all kinds of risk in this hot, humid weather of fungus, of damaging my lawn because I have to go back and cut more than 30% of the lawn, all kinds of things. So anyways, that's what I'm doing today. I figured I'd just go ahead and record it, but I want to stress again. If you love your Bermuda grass, and if you want to take care of your Bermuda grass, whether you're doing fertilization, whether you're doing cutting, no matter what you're doing, live by the 10 day forecast. I can't stress that enough. Also click the subscribe button uh, as an example. What do I got here? I got here a pH test. pH test, the card's upside down. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of videos coming up. Again, I'm, I'm backlogged on videos. I got over 20 more to do. The pH test, uh, the soil testing kit review is going to be probably next on my list since it's going to be pouring rain for the next few days. I got a few, bunch more coming out. So click that subscribe button and uh, it'll notify you when it comes out. So anyways, let's get cutting on this lawn. I'm going to bring it down shortly. Okay, real quick. If you watch one of my last videos, I talked about a fine tuning adjustment your mower deck and here's the original hole from that video I just drilled a new hole down to here and let me give you an example when I would put it in the number one slot here my it wouldn't the, the scalp wheels would actually slam on the ground now if I let it go to this sort of different position my scalp wheel actually turns so that's how you fine-tune adjust the height of a mower deck that doesn't have enough clicks on it, we'll call it. So that's where I'm going to cut it today.
So I know it may not look like a lot, but I wanted to show you the front yard cutting adjustment. So this was cut two days ago, this lawn over here, and you can see my fresh lines over here. So while it doesn't look like a whole bunch, you can see the difference. Hopefully you can see the difference. So this grass over here is getting close to two inches. This is, man, that's, some of these areas are three quarters of an inch to one inch roughly because I've got that stupid undulation in here. Um, but that's where I want to be. If I've got five days of rain coming, I want to be these two strips right here. That's where I want to be. Even if I'm, you can see further down because of the stupid way that they did this yard, um, I'm going to have a few scalp marks in here. That'll be cured pretty soon by the new John Deere that I've got coming. I've got a 48 inch with four scalp wheels coming. Um, and that's really, there's not a whole lot you can do besides leveling your whole yard, which is too big of a task right now. But you can see right here, right here is a good example. So it's only taking it down. Let's find a deeper area. So it's only taking it down, what, maybe, maybe three quarters of an inch? maybe three quarters of an inch taken off, but that's huge if you've got five days of rain coming up. <laughs> Are you get to go outside now? Okay. Why don't we get to go outside now? Oh, the grass cutting is done. Hallelujah. And the girls get so mad because I cut the grass. When I say a pre-rain cut, that means that I know... That's why I'm talking funny, dummy. By the way, if you don't, if you don't wear one of these, and if you don't wear these while you're cutting your grass, you're kind of stupid because all that crap gets in your eyes and you're breathing it in. Because I know I'm not going to be able to cut this grass. I know I'm not going to be able to cut this grass for maybe five, six days. So you can see. <laughs> Hi. Hi, are you happy? Are you happy you can come out in the grass now? I cut it just for you. So here is, there's the new height. So you can see it, it's pretty cool looking. Uh, so Linda and I, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go inside maybe? We're gonna go inside maybe? So Linda and I are gonna go inside and get a whole bunch to drink and maybe something to eat. Oh, we got some flowers blooming over there. So anyways, guys, my main point to this video before I became an idiot. Um, I live by the 10-day forecast. I absolutely do. Watch the 10-day forecast, and all of a sudden, if you see three days you're going to have solid rain, if you want to put out some granular, put out some granular. Uh, if you know you haven't cut your grass in two or three days, and you see two or three days of rain coming up, what are you going to do? Get out and cut your grass. Now, I'm kind of risking it here at the end of a drought... I'm getting a little bit risky because I'm cutting my grass really short, but I've got 80 to 100% chance of thunderstorms for four, about four days. So I'm taking her down short. I'm so tired of watering grass. 21, 22 days. I can't even remember without rain. And what's amazing, what's amazing is this is May 15th. And there is not a lawn within probably 100 miles that looks like this. This solid, deep, dense Bermuda. That stuff is just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So if you haven't done it already, guys, uh, click the subscribe button. It's over here. It's over here, I think. Or is it over here? Little red thing. Click the subscribe. Once you click the subscribe button, when you go to our channel, you'll see it'll tell you that you're subscribed to our channel. And there's a little bell next to it. Click that little bell, and uh, it'll notify you whenever um, this idiot puts up a new puts up a new <laughs> puts up a new video. It actually sends you. If you have a phone, if you have the YouTube app on your phone, you get this little thing. It says, "Hey, how to doc just posted this video." Um, so it's pretty cool. Talk to you later, doc.